subtle autism and changing plans. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan, I have autism, ADHD, OCD and dyslexia and I make weekly videos on this type of stuff. So if you're new around here and you'd like to learn more, remember to hit that subscribe button by clicking the notification bell. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back different thinkers to the place where we think differently daily. What is going on? I'm your host, Dan from the Aspie world. Yeah, weird, isn't it? Being back now, Christmas is all done. Everything's over and done with, man. Oh gosh, that was crazy. 2021. So moving past the fact that, you know, 2020 was crazy and 2021's <laughs> shaping up to be quite an interesting challenge. Um, I uh, had an interesting experience and I wanted to share that experience with you guys um, due to uh, the fact that, you know, it's an, it was caused directly because I'm on the autism spectrum and how did this impact me and all this kind of stuff. So if you are new to me and you haven't already downloaded my free Autism Life Hacks PDF book, you can do right now at autismhacks.net. Go ahead and do it right now. Super dope. Okay, so guys, autism and changing plans. Now let's let's just break it down really quickly. Autistic people do not cope well with changing routines, changing plans. Things change. Change is a scary thing for anybody, but especially people on the autism spectrum. Why, you may ask? Because people on the autism spectrum like to have things in a certain order, in a certain way that they can routinely do those things over and over again because routine gives people stability and security and that comfortable feeling where they know that nothing crazy is gonna happen. Because the world is chaotic, a person with an autism spectrum disorder sees the world as a chaotic kind of bright and brilliant mess at some times and that is overwhelming, overloading, cause, cause meltdowns, shutdowns, overloads, burnouts, you name it. So when you have a set of things that you like to do repetitively in a routine, and you know what to expect, you know that everything's gonna be fine and you enjoy those things, then why wouldn't you feel comfortable around those things? It's a no brainer. But if those plans suddenly change, it changes the whole stratosphere of existence. It's kind of like having, uh, you know, having dominoes all laid out perfectly and then somebody like kicks them and they just start going off and you're like, oh my goodness, you know, nothing's gonna happen now. You've changed it, you've clicked the domino and something crazy catastrophic is gonna happen. That is kind of like the experience of changing plans. Now, um, I wanted specifically to talk today about stores. Like I went to the store the other day. I was confronted with a problem which I have been faced with a couple of times before, but I've never experienced it in this certain store. The the issues the issue I have is this. When I go to the store, I know where things are. I've been to the store a few times and because of the coronavirus pandemic, I'm being the only person who was kind of like nominated to go outside of my house because my girlfriend was shielding and we had a little child, he's only two, so they were in the house and I was nominated to go to the store with a mask on and do that kind of thing because I was the healthiest kind of you know candidate to go out so um normally we go shopping together because when i do my grocery store shopping um we go as a family and naomi helps me do the things that I, you know navigate around the store not get too worked up but going out on my own has been quite a challenge and a difficult thing so i'm going out to the store with a, a difficult kind of like you know straight from the get-go i'm like okay i'm gonna go and do this i get my trolley and i go into the store now for a while it's been kind of interesting right I, I i've been kind of getting to know where the things are in the store because i've been walking around the store you know first time it took me a couple of hours and now it takes me about an hour so i went to the store that i normally go to called little um where i get a lot of our fruit and veg from so i go to little and they have a nice organic section so it's kind of cool so i go in there and as soon as i go in the front door everything's changed they've changed the they changed the the layout of the uh, sorry guys, they changed the layout of when you first go in, all the shelves were changed over. Um, it, you know, uh, sorry guys, what happened then? I, that, was a, that was a tick happening because I was nervous about talking about this, so please bear with me. And they changed all, all the, they changed all of the, the shelves on the, the left hand side and the right hand side. And it, the, the shop was basically upside down. And I was like, oh no, where do I go, where do I go, where do I go? And it took me a while to find my bearings. But what happened is when I went in there, I was like instantly shocked, like, oh my goodness, you know, where's things? I started to kind of think, oh, okay, well, and then I tried to think logically about it. And as I went deeper into the store, it kind of just got to me and I started panicking and I started worrying and I wasn't really dealing with it very well. And I missed out a bunch of things of my list. And if it wasn't for the fact that I knew somebody who was working on the tills, I think it would have ended pretty badly. Now, what did happen is I started, you know, panicking, really, really bad panic. I started having anxiety then because I was thinking like, oh my goodness, I can't find all these things. Where have they gone? They've changed the shop around. Everything's going to be ruined. I can't do this. And then I um, 
and then my stomach started hurting and I don't know if you guys have GI issues because of anxiety and stress and things like that. So my stomach was like just crippling. I was like, oh, you know, I could, I, I was just like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. And so then I had to buy some nuts and a bottle of water to then eat and drink because I needed to kind of calm myself down, calm my stomach down. That feeling left me feeling hungover for the rest of the day. I felt kind of like, I was on a an emotional hangover because it was such a roller coaster. You know, going to the shop expecting one thing, and then the whole thing has changed, and you experience a different thing. And I was just like, "Oh my goodness! Like, what the heck has just happened?" You know, and that is is scary. You know, like it's it's scary because I was on my own and, and I didn't I didn't know what to do, and I was just lucky that my friend worked on the till really. Um, but in terms of like autism and changing plans it's so difficult to deal with, especially when stores change stuff around, you know? Like I have the biggest issue with that and I wish they didn't change things around or I wish they would just like alert people who are on the spectrum, like, you know, maybe work with the National Autistic Society or somebody where they put an alert out saying, hey, your local store has changed its layout before you go there. So you can see the layout change, something that would just help, you know? And it just really did throw me and, and I don't like that. <laughs> I wasn't, you know, it didn't take kindly to it and, I'm kind of like nervous now to go to that store in case they change it around again and like hopefully they won't because they've never changed it and then all of a sudden they changed it. You know, I would have even preferred a new store, like just build a new store because I don't know, okay, well it's a new store. I know that I'm gonna expect not to have the same things that I've always thought about this store. So that was kind of like my my biggest issue with that, but it is what it is. I'd love to know what your opinions are on it. Do you get those issues? Give this video a thumbs up if you relate to what I'm saying. And if you have anything to add to this conversation, pop it in a comment. I read every single one, so that'd be super awesome. And I just, I just find it, yeah, it's just, it just fascinates me um, uh, that this the people can just do that and then just think, oh yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna change everything around. Everything's gonna be fine. Autism parents, you know what I'm talking about. Autistic people, you feel my pain. Guys, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.